Hello my soccer universe! Guess what? It's another collection video because I wanna fill in the uh, space and you know I actually like doing this collection video, showing show off the jerseys in my collection. This one here is a very 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 special one. That's actually the one, I think this is a jersey that got badly cheated on. It's the Italy and uh, 2020 away, I think it was released in late 2019. That's the one that should have been won at the Euros. And What's even funny, I mean, this came right off the heels of the Renaissance jer uh, jersey, the next uh, international winner, they, 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 they released this one. And I immediately said, this is probably the best Italy away jersey they have ever seen. Whereas I was not so uh, fond of the Renaissance jer jersey or the blue jersey here that they ended up winning the Euros with. Uh, this jersey immediately had me. And despite it having navy accents instead of the azure blue accents that I would like. And also, I do agree, a friend of mine said, yeah, the pattern looks a little bit like a tablecloth. Yeah, there is something there, but I actually really, really like this. And I don't think it's Renaissance inspired. I think this goes even deeper, uh, further, further back into, um, you know, I don't necessarily say Roman times, but you know, that time period. I at least had the feeling I didn't do the research now. Uh, but this seems to me like a more ancient pattern. I have to say, the Italy crest here is wonderfully sticking out. You have the right accents. You have, I actually really like the color as well, although it's the full shirt color in a way. But I really like the, the round neck and then you have the navy there. Uh, and the pattern is just wonderful. Really, really, really wonderful. This is an awesome jersey, a perfect complement to the Renaissance jersey and the other one. Uh, I have it plain, and, and the funny thing is I got this in uh, for my birthday in 2020. I think we, I got the Renaissance jersey and this one, I think they both were on sale for around 30 or some, something like that, which is it's just ridiculous how hard, how, 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 how they tried to sell it off. Now, uh, also interesting here is, of course, the Italia writing, which both of the those, those jerseys are, but the Renaissance jersey and the home jersey, which they with the one, the Euros in, they um, are very much uh, the same in, in construction, whereas this one uh, actually does have, and maybe it's worth pulling this one out, although I have not made a video. Uh, both the rest of this one have the floppy collar here and the v-neck, and then they just have uh, this back panel that goes on the front, and then you have the front panel here, and then there are uh, sleeve cuffs, whereas this Renaissance jersey as I said already, the collar is already a different construction, and then it has this shoulder panel uh here before uh so th this has been for other jerseys like Sor serbia which is also a jersey that i really like uh they had this specially color so this is a slightly different construction of the jersey than uh the other two <sighs> debatable which one i like better i cannot i think it to 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 me it's one of, it's almost one one the same but i have, have to say I found this very, very interesting. But again, the star of this jersey is the pattern. And uh, this was kind of, this jersey was kind of worn to top of this wonderful um, uh, qualifying campaign. And then they did very well in the Nations League. Very, 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 very well. And I was so ready being all kitted out. I had all the three jerseys that Italy have released with the Crafted for Culture theme. And then we cheated out of this jer jersey with the abomination that Puma decided to release. And yeah, this one's still around, unfortunately. And a uh, 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 jersey that was, I think, universally loved. And I think in conjunction with the other two, forms one of the best uh, jersey sets ever. Um, it's kind of the forgotten one in many ways. And that's why I need to make a video about it to have it not forgotten. This jersey got cheated for its legacy. Absolutely, because we should have... This is the one that they should have worn when they opened the Euros, when they beat Belgium, and so on and so forth. So yeah, rather, rather sorry. Also, um, props, just look at this crest because it won't be there for long anymore. When Adidas takes over, they're changing the crest again to something that is not as pleasing. I think this is almost my second favorite Italy crest uh, ever. So yeah, there, 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 there you go. What do you think about this jersey? Do you like it as much as I do? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.